What's that? Is that, what? Is that a bed? That's a bed, yeah. Oh, look at that. The perks of being a YouTuber. <laughs> I've been watching Brendan for a while and actually that was partly what inspired me to get going and making my own van as well. And the day's finally come. The day where I get to meet my tens of thousands of fans around the country. I've hit the tarmac and I'm on the road to the Adventure Overland and International Camper Van Brendan Explores show. I've been specially invited there to come and meet my tens of thousands of fans all around the world who have flocked upon Stratford upon Avon to come and especially see me and the car. I've invited a couple of the YouTube friends as well who want to kind of milk off my success a little bit. But Will's whereabouts come in, he gave me a call the other day, said, uh, Hey, Brent, you don't mind if I just pop along, do you, and uh, try and advertise the channel a little bit off the back of yours? Not a problem, mate. You come along and uh, do your thing. So we're heading out to Stratford. Gonna go meet all the fans there. They should be lined up by the time I get there. Gotta give them a quick call just before I arrive, just take them right off the red carpet. Now, for those of you that have no idea what the Adventure Overland and International Camper Van slash Brendan Explore show is, minus the ending there, but if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I've actually been posting about it quite a bit on the channel over the past few weeks uh, on the community tab, and also I've mentioned it in a couple of videos. And one thing I noticed, and probably the reason why a lot of you don't know what I'm talking about in this video, and probably don't know what I've been talking about in the community posts, is because the majority of my viewers that watch this channel, only about 16% of you watching this video right now. In two miles at junction 3A, use the left two lanes to take the M40 exit to London, Warwick. Thank you. Only about 16% of you that are watching this video right now are subscribed to the channel. So if you're not already subscribed to this channel, click the subscribe button right now. Here we go. I think this is it, I think. Stratford Racecourse. Now my theory is they probably won't need to see my ticket because they'll recognize the face straight away. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Hello, mate, you all Hello, right? Barcode. Yeah, let's have a look. Are you just uh, camping overnight or? Just one night, yeah. I'm in something called the display area. Where's that? You're in display? Yeah. Are you displaying, um, are you displaying anything? Is it? Um, well, I'll leave that to your imagination. <laughs> what, sure. what do you think I'm just playing? I'm not sure. Honestly. Have a guess. No idea, no, 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 idea. no I thought that would be the reaction. I'm Radfords. Uh, yes, yeah, it yeah. does, yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> yes, okay. Here we are, Steve. That's the new way of pronouncing your name now. The Roman Radfords. <laughs> yeah, so um, what, what you're witnessing right now is the most extravagant camper in the whole world. What's that? That's what I'm saying. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> did you not? Did you not guess? No. I thought it was obvious. Have a look. Po po poke your head in the back. Have a look in there. Hang on. Hang on. Go on. Have a look now. Go on. <laughs> what is that? What's that? Is that? What, is that a bed? That's a bed. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. So just park on the right here. Yeah. 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 Just next to that um, range for now. Okay. We'll okay. do. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Well, that was really surprising. The security didn't recognise me, but they could just be part of the one percent that don't know who Brendan Explores is. But that's okay. We can accept that. Biggest yeah. pulling up to the display area now. Obviously, I'm the most well-known person here. I've got all the fans around me, as you can see. I've had a professional sign made yeah, okay. by a very unique company called The Family. Brendan Explores, ultra professional. Just going to stay here for a couple hours, chill out, meet all the swaths of people, and then uh, maybe we'll cook up some food later on, maybe, or try something from the actual event itself. But we'll see. But I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Tell you what, this is bringing back a bit of nostalgia for me on the channel. For those that have only joined the channel recently, you won't know that this is like where I started the channel. I used to go to all the different Sunday markets and different festivals and having a look around and making a fool of myself. But yeah, it brings back good memories. I feel like I'm back at home, walking around with a camera while everyone looks at me thinking I'm a weirdo. Feels good. Look at this. This is more my style. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Oh, you what, sorry? 
What have we got here? I've got one in here, but I'm a bit busy for I need it again, my belly. Four pound steak burger, cheeseburger, half pound steak burger. Mm. I think four pound of steak burger is the one for me. It's a bit windy, so open this burger don't fly about everywhere. Right, let's get a bit of burger sauce. Of course, it's going to be interesting holding the camera. Right, I'm going to put you guys down here. Crikey! There we are. Right. Let's get a bit of that. Right, that'll do. I'm going to eat this. I'll see you guys back at the display area where I'm sure there's a plethora of a queue of people waiting to see me. <laughs> Okay. And then underneath, we've got more storage. Nice. That's my table leg. That pops up for your table, and then you can sit either side. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is Will. What's the channel, Will? Hey, guys. Will? Little Man Adventures. Little Man Adventures on TikTok and YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This guy has probably got the warmest heart of anybody <laughs> oh, that I've met for you. a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely chap. Always yeah. give me support online as well, so thank you ever so much for that, mate. Yeah. So this is the back. Yeah, this is the back. And then should we have a look inside? Yeah. Oh, I see you've got the window covers up already. It's already yeah. in stealth mode. Yeah, so this is my bed. Nice one. Oh, you've got a power station there. Yeah, big power station. You've got that an upgrade that I've been looking for. Everything. What is that one? Uh, that's the EcoFlow. Nice. Sponsored? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I wish I was. Someone give me something for free, will you? Ego floor jackery, come on. Give me some free stuff. <laughs> Where's like the craziest place you've slept in oh, this? Oh, the craziest place I've slept. Oh, it's, it's so weird, so, so weird. Uh, I haven't actually told anyone this story yet. Okay, we've got an exclusive here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a good one to tell. Go on. <laughs> I was out in the middle of this wood, in the middle of nowhere, pitch black, and uh, Randomly, like early hours of the morning, there was someone playing their uh, like saxophone, saxophone in the middle of the car park. What time is this? <laughs> like really early hours of the morning. Like two o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that scared the absolute living day out of you. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is going on? Jeez, and what did you do? Did you get, did you get up and no, drive away? No, no. Or did I, you just I, dance I just in the back? Like, I just like, through my little holes. Yeah, yeah. So what is the vehicle then? What is the actual vehicle that you've converted? It's a uh, Citroen Blingo. Yeah. Uh, it's the XDR model. Okay. So you get all your... That's Will's channel, by the way, guys. Yeah. So you get all your plastic bumpers and protection for going off road. Yeah, yeah. And then underneath the engine, you've got a metal plate. Okay, so you put so some protection on there, have you? Yeah. And uh, from the factory, compared to the uh, standard Blingo, uh, with all the colour-coded parts on it, yep. uh, this has got a two-inch lift from the factory. Oh, okay. So this is kind of like been designed nearly from the ground up to be yeah. a little bit more off-road friendly. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then on top of the factory lift they put on it, I put on another lift. Right, and okay. And then the off-road tyres. Yeah, because you've got quite a bit of clearance there, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks for showing us a little uh, brief look at yeah. Little Man Adventures vehicle. Go check him out, Will, on YouTube and TikTok. He's a fantastic chap. Thanks, he uh, guys. deserves some support. And yeah, we'll have a bit more of a chat off camera. Yeah. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye, guys. Just leaving Will behind me now. Christ, the weather is absolutely atrocious. Woo! Look at this. I came on the best day. For those of you wondering why I haven't shown a lot of probably the other YouTubers that I've spoken to today, um, it's mainly because I'm kind of using today as a way to just talk to people and not have to kind of put a camera in someone's face. Although everyone's kind of used to it, I'm much more interested today in just walking around, getting a bit of food, having the vibe of the festival itself, talking to some people. I've been talking to some people on Instagram for a while. Ads Ventures I've been talking to for a while, so we might have a little look around his van later on. He's here with uh, Becky, or should I call her Victoria maybe? So shout out to you guys. I also want to give a big massive shout out to Steve Radford as well, who invited me here. If it wasn't for Steve, I wouldn't be here right now. So thank you to the Radfords for giving me the invite. I've been kindly invited 
by a couple of regular viewers called Martin and Amelia from a channel called Van Life Fan Gaming. It's a father and daughter. And this is Martin here. We've got Amelia in the distance there. And this is their little van. And their favorite meal that they've seen me make is the pizza, the Ridge Monkey pizza. And they told me earlier on that they've got an absolutely fantastic recipe that I should be trying. And they've invited me over to try it tonight. Tell us a little bit more about it, Martin. What is it? So it's a uh, meal that calls it van potatoes. It's uh, sauteed potatoes with um, whatever leftovers over the fridge, so any meat, vegetables, yeah. uh, bread onions, uh, mix, uh, mix herbs. So you're preparing me your leftovers for the week. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Amelia. And this is one of the biggest fans of the channel, I believe. It is, it is. Oh, fantastic. Well, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you both today. And thank you so much for the invite. I'm going to join you guys in a sec once we get the meal a bit more ready and prepared. And I'll tell you what it tastes like. Oh, look at that. And this is van potatoes, is what's called. Van potatoes, yep. <laughs> oh, crikey. The perks of being a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to tuck into this. I'm not going to film while we eat and enjoy each other's company. But I will join you guys in a little bit, just as I'm about to head back to the display area. Hopefully that music isn't too loud behind me, but I'll see you in a sec. All right, night is upon us. What a great first day. I met some great people. Had some nice food. Was kindly invited by Martin and Amelia to their van from Van Life Van Gaming. I haven't filmed everything, and for everyone who has come up and said hello to me today, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you all. I'll put a couple of photos up right now of all the little snaps we've had together. It's actually been a pleasant surprise. I really didn't think that anybody would recognise me coming here today. Not only have I had subscribers come up and recognise me and ask me where I am to come and see me in the in the show here, I've had other YouTubers that I didn't think would recognise me, which is quite cool. So yeah, it's been a, a brilliant first day. I'm not quite sure how much of this video will go up on YouTube, whether it becomes part of another video or where it makes its own video, I don't know yet. We'll have to just figure it out. But um, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Finally, the rain has held off. Oh. First dry spell of the day. Absolutely chucked it down last night. There's one more person I need to speak to before I make a move. And that is a gentleman called Ads Ventures. Adam's been watching the channel for quite a while now, haven't you? It's like a first date, Brendan. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I've been watching Brendan for a while, and actually that was partly what inspired me to get going and making my own van as well, so. Isn't that um, nice? So, what do we have in here? Uh, quite a tidy van for once. It's been a mess over the last few days. We have got a very small living area, as you can see. Yeah. But we've got everything functional, so there's a fridge down the bottom, which may even have some food in it. It Ooh, does, nice. it does. You Whether got for the Tortilla wraps, one of my favourites. <laughs> it may not be in date or without Edible. Mold, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> yeah, not going to yeah. guarantee that. So what's the vehicle itself? It's a... Uh... Volkswagen Caddy Maxi, so it's okay. the long wheelbase version. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when you've got the bed all down in it, you can lie flat in it. So the bed, yeah, yeah I tend not to sleep at an angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lie flat. Yeah, the bed comes all the way up to here. Um, and yeah. it does look a little bit bigger once the bed's out. So it's a, a small double bed it is, um, okay. bigger than a single. And yeah, we've got storage along the back there. You've got a sink, obviously with running water. That's all hooked up to nice. the, uh, the leisure battery. We've got the electrical units on the side, dimmer switches for the lights. And you did all this yourself, didn't you? Yep, it was the first wow. time I've ever done anything like it. So, um, I tell you what, for a first attempt, it's not a bad effort, is it? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a long learning curve and uh, a, a lot of video watching have other people. Uh, guy down there, Greg, um, he's like the, like the master. Genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so a lot of learning from his videos as well. But yeah, it came together in the end. I'm pretty happy with it. So what's the dream for the future? Are you going to stick with this or are you thinking of something different? Until I arrived at this show, I was thinking sticking with this. But after being at this show and looking at all these big vans, I'm so tempted to upgrade. Yeah. Possibly next year to something a little bigger, but I never want to go 
massive. Um, yeah. I don't want a motorhome or anything like that. Anyway, for you guys that are interested in the van, I'm going to see some more adventures with Adam and Becky on various different adventures around the country, globally on planes, doing their escapades. Go and check out the link in the description. You'll see a load of great adventures on there. And that was the Overlander Show 2022. What a fantastic event. Now, before you guys go, I've got to say a couple of big thanks to some special people. Two of which left a super thanks on my previous video. So thank you guys very much. Rambling Adventures and good on you, mate. I think the channel names were. I'll just put you guys up here. Thank you for donating to the channel. I really appreciate that. And as always, a big thanks to the channel members who subscribe to the channel on a financial basis every month. Couldn't do it all without you guys. Donate to the fuel, donate to meals. It really does help a hell of a lot. I've actually just recently set up a Patreon page for anybody who's looking to support me going forward, whether it be the channel members going from YouTube to Patreon. The reason why I created a Patreon page was because the percentage that YouTube takes when it comes to donations isn't exactly creator friendly. So if you're looking to support me and for most of your donation to go to me, I would suggest going over to Patreon. But thank you guys ever so much for watching the video. Thank you for all your support. I guess I'll see you guys on the next camp.